All right, folks, this is Steve with Real Progressives. Tonight, we're going to talk about Bernie Sanders again because Bernie Sanders finally had enough of the centrist think tank Center for American Progress, led by John Podesta and Nira Tandon. These folks are the same people that are individually responsible. I mean, as a collective, they're responsible, but these people, they're like the archduke of evil, right? These guys are the Republicans in sheep's clothing. They're the individuals that show up and just take shots at progressives nonstop. Now, do we have broad shoulders and can we handle it? Well, sure, we could if our goal was just to be strong and handle it. But our goal is to be elected into office. Our goal is to change the way society works. And our goal is to, in fact, push beyond the Overton window that is there today. But let's be fair. Most Democrats, with all due respect, you vote blues out there, they're not very smart when it comes to the overall uh, issues. They're really very party-centric. Beyond the party, eh, they don't know a lot. They don't care either. Have a deep conversation? Nah, I'm not going to have it. But you let a party person tell them something, and they will repeat it as if they were saying the word Russia a thousand times. If somebody calls it Trumpelstilskin, they will repeat it, the same word, like verbatim, for years on end until the, the switch is turned off and then they say some new word. So these people like Nira Tandon and, you know, and Podesta, you know, these, these are the people that are working in these liberal think tanks. And they're not even really liberal. They're neoliberal, right? These are the big business think tanks that are supported by the likes of the Waltons from Walmart and from Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. These are folks that are knee-deep in oil money, knee-deep in all kinds of stuff. Millions and millions of dollars pumped into this foundation. And i got to tell you, before we get deeper into the subject... As Real Progressives looks to expand and become a nonprofit, you know, we're always getting a lot, of, a lot of guidance, and it's pretty smart guidance, I'm sure, to remember that as a nonprofit, you're supposed to be not political, blah, blah, blah. Well, folks, let me ask you a question. How many of you knew that Center for American Progress is not only not a 501c4, they're a 501c3. Now, if you don't know the difference between the two, I'll give you a quick crash course on this. A c3 is supposed to be a public purpose type arena. Their goal is supposed to be education, things like that, not political, not advocating, not lobbying. Now, let me bring that back to you again. Nira Tandon and John Podesta. <laughs> Do I need to say any more? Nira Tandon is about the most political person there is out there, and she is absolutely anti-progressive. So what I've done is I've got this article where Bernie Sanders took a shot. Now, unfortunately, it's got it all over the place. So let's get over there real quickly. Bernie Sanders uh, tells the Center for American Progress to back off. So I'm going to read this to you just so you all understand what's at stake here. Basically, the tension that surfaced between the Democratic Party, you know, the primaries. In 2016, between Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton uh, and their respective supporters appears to be continuing in the early race for the party's nomination 2020 election. Folks, I find it humorous that the neolibs are holding on to dear life to fight back against progressives. Why is that? What have they got to lose? Anyway, the New York Times reported that Sanders sent a letter on Saturday to the Center for American Progress, a liberal think tank founded by John Podesta, funded by corporate donors, and linked to traditional Democratic Party establishment. In the letter, Sanders expressed deep concern and disappointment with the destructive role he says the center and its sister group, CAP Action Fund, have planned in the effort to oust Donald Trump in 2020. 
As an example, Sanders cited content published by the site Think Progress. This last week, you published an article on Think Progress, among others that noted that the Vermont senator is a millionaire, which the site called very off-brand and embarrassing. In a statement to the Times, Think Progress editor uh, Chief Jody Enda said, and let me bring this up for you so you know, uh, it's always funny when I see this. Uh, so basically, uh, this guy, Jody Enda, uh, says, I think Progress is an editorially independent journalistic entity. Neither CAP nor CAP Action reviews our work before we hit publish. Neither CAP nor CAP Action had anything to do with the article or video related to Senator Sanders or articles related to any other political leader. Uh, I'm just going to say this. There was some things attacking APAC. Nira Tandon went to Think Progress and said, uh-uh, donors are getting pissed. No more popping off on APAC. So these people are neoliberal and they're a pro, not forget being pro-Jewish. That's not what we're talking about. They are pro neocon, Netanyahu-style, Reich-wing, APAC scum. We're not talking about being anti-Semitic. We're talking about these individuals are the very people that are playing in line for the money from these types of PACs, these types of special interest groups that are very, very destructive. Think about that for a minute. Anyway, so bottom line is think progress fires back. So did a little bit of work, and we decided that we would talk a little bit about Center for American Progress. And so you, you see some of the faces and wonderful people like the centrist shills, all the Hillary Clinton following hangs out with this crowd. These are Democrats in good standing with people. The same people that would badmouth Sanders. Now, I want you to understand something. The folks that were pushing for Dem Enter, many of them may have had nefarious reasons for doing it. Maybe they were establishment people, too, that would make excuses for these wretches, these horrible, evil people. Maybe they were. But there is a large enough contingent of people that do not want to partner up with them, that are looking to truly change the party from the inside out. Now, are they going to be successful? I, I have no idea. But I'm not going to malign their efforts. These people, these shills at American uh, Center, the Center for American Progress, they're really bad, and they influence so many people. Millions upon millions upon millions of dollars goes into this 501c3. Now, for those of you who don't know this little teeny wing of their political arm, the tax-free donations come through the 501c3. And that's where these attacks are coming from, is near a tandem and others. Now, I want to show you this too. So this right here is the board of directors for the Center for American Progress. Take a look at those names. I mean, Jen from Status Quo with Jordan did a great piece on this. If you all haven't seen this, take a look on Status Quo. I'll provide the link later. But Jen provides a breakdown, a deep breakdown. This happened last year. On all the shady characters within the Center for American Progress. These people are not good people. They're not even kind of good people. They're the people that re Republicans celebrate behind the scenes. But progressives, we revile. And the attacks from Think Progress and the attacks from people like Neera Tandon have ranged from calling Sanders a millionaire and mocking him and acting like this is not a good look for him now, mind you, the man sold books. 
He's entitled to earn his money. If you got a problem with that, change the laws. In the meantime, though, he's doing absolutely nothing wrong. This is a game to smear him, and by extension smear millions of other progressives through something completely irrelevant. But then they went so far as to say that Sanders' crumpled up frumpy clothing that he wears makes him somehow or another a, a, a beneficiary of white privilege because he can dress so frumpy and get away with it while running for president. Folks, this is your Democratic Party. This is the corporate Democrats. When they tell you to vote blue no matter who, these are the people they're telling you to support. Do you understand? How does one go to sleep at night supporting people like this? How does one look their children in the eye and still try to pretend like they're a decent human being deserving of their next, next breath. I mean, these are evil people. So, you know, I, I went ahead and I found this thing from the Hill. And you got to understand, now they're trying to say that Sanders is trying to muzzle journalism. Isn't this rich? On the heels of Julian Assange and all the other stuff, they're trying to lay it at Sanders' feet. Now, mind you, folks, near attendance calling for unity. All these neoliberal shills calling for unity. And Sanders is basically saying, hey, stop fucking with us. You want to have a clean primary and get people to believe in you again? Well, it starts by eating your own dog food, and that means not smearing progressives. It really is a shame that there's not another landing spot for progressives that has any possibility of winning anything substantive. But it's true. It really is true. Believe me, I've walked on the wild side and every time I tried to bring up common sense, I was met with resistance. That tells me there's nobody competent willing to actually be meaningfully engaged beyond that. That's a damn shame. Because these people, fucking evil, man. Outside, Willy Wonka cray cray. Not willing to stay on the reservation, as they say. These people are literally out of their freaking minds. These folks are sitting there, literally smearing progressives every which way. And our friends on the left, the far left, whatever that is in this country, are smearing it too. So here you've got a situation. You've got a situation where the neo-libs are basically saying, Sanders is undeserving of your attention, your vote, whatever, because he wears frumpy clothes, he reeks of white privilege, and he sold a book that makes him a millionaire, and being a millionaire is a bad look for a progressive, right? And on the left, they're calling Sanders a sheepdog. You can't make it up. You just can't make this shit up. So, you know, I sat back and I thought to myself, what in the world would make a group like American Center for American Progress, excuse me, what would make a group like that palatable to any human being that's not a billionaire or a millionaire or a trillionaire? Why would folks support this stuff? Why would you feel any kinship with that? And I, I just can't figure out where the attraction is to Neera Tandon, John Podesta, and the rest of them. Folks, do you understand what a neoliberal is even? I mean, a neoliberal is someone that's trying to rip apart 
public services while privatizing them, basically, or turning them into partially privatized so that <laughs> the markets meet our needs, as opposed to the federal government, which can afford anything to meet our needs. And and they're they're in bed with these corporations and these industry leaders to find new ways to rip apart the social safety nets and privatize them. That's the entirety of the greed behind neoliberalism. And this Center for American Progress is all about that. They're all about it. And you listen to Senator Sanders in Pittsburgh today. I mean, he had a huge rally. He had a huge rally in Michigan yesterday. We had a huge rally in Wisconsin the other day. People want change. They don't want everything privatized. They don't want to have to find ways to scrape pennies together to afford their health care. At some point in time, progressives have got to be able to count on one another to be able to dig deep enough to get past this because groups like this are the outside groups that get all that money and spend all their time educating people behind the scenes to hate progress, to think of everything as pie in the sky. Now, I want you to understand something. These folks are not talking in thousands of dollars. A real progressive makes nothing compared to this at all. We don't even, <laughs> I don't even want to get into it. It's so embarrassing how low our donations are right now. We need to work on that, folks. But these guys get millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars for the sole purpose of influencing people to support neoliberal policies and to support neoliberalism, which is privatization, which is austerity. Folks, when are you going to wake up? we got to know who these people are so we can fight back. And we've got to be equally organized and equally funded. We've got to find ways to fund groups that are fighting back. And there are very few, if any. I mean, Sanders Institute was a chance. And now Sanders Institute had to stop taking donations because Bernie's running for office. We've got to build organization, strength, knowledge, policy, and we've got to be able to get the word out to people too. Or they're just going to run right over us. So anyway, I'm Steve Grumbine with Real Progressives, hoping you remember who the Center for American Progress is. And remember, they are not our friends. Keep staying strong, friends. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.